Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are here with, I'll let y'all say y'all's names because I don't want to mess them up on camera. Logan. Logan. Maxwell. Maxwell. Hollis. Emery Carver. Emery. Sam. Sam. They have invited me to come out and fish with them today at this juicy looking pond. Hopefully we can get on them. Um, they told me a couple lures that should work. We got five people, six people including me. Wait, seven. My math is kind of off. Wait. Six. Six. Okay, yeah, see, <laughs> we got six people out here fishing today, guys, and hopefully we can get on them. I'm expecting maybe about 100 to 250 fish a day. Stay tuned. Guys, they said there's a lot of shad in the lake, so we have this little underspin tied on, so hopefully we can get on something. It looks pretty good in the water. If I was a fish, I'd most definitely eat it. I think they said we should walk down this way. They kind of, I'm thinking we're probably going to move. Just high stick it, dude. You want me to jump down there? Uh, Bring it down here, we can grab it. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to open Maybe like a 15 pound bass ate it. Yeah. That's a nice one. There you go. It's probably like maybe two. Yeah. Fish number one. There you go. There we go. Fish number one. So guys, the ice has been broken. We have fish number one. Now everybody else has to catch about five or ten and then we'll be on the way to a hundred. I think we're all gonna tie on frogs and see who catches the first fish. Yes. We can't leave until somebody catches one. How, much, how big of a deal it was. What? It's, uh, the 15 pound bass I caught. Dude, that's stupid, dude. <laughs> Crazy. That's like one in every ten people will do that in their lifetime. And yet, I'm not yeah, that's what I'm saying. Only 15, that's like 10 pounds more. Mine is five. Ow. I'm yeah, and I'm nine. Than How old are you? Go ahead. What did you say? I'm not gonna catch one bigger than that in my life. Dude, that's the that's the only thing that sucks about that. It's so high now. It's gonna be hard to like beat that. But the thing is, he caught he caught like an eight pounder. Like yeah, like the spot that I told you about that uh, we might be able to go fishing at in the spring. Throw it out there, and a guy, the guy who lives there, he said he catches eight pounders just daily. Really? Yeah, just off his dock. Dude, that's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find like this old man that's like, I have this pond, I haven't fished in like 20 years, but last time I fished there was like 12 in it, you know? Well guys, Hollis was the only one that caught a fish. He caught that one early in the day. We probably fished for about three or four hours, didn't catch a single fish. There were six of us out there fishing. That just kind of shows how the fishing is going right now in Alabama. We were throwing everything from like moving baits, somebody's throwing a spinner bait, Texas rigs, jigs, stuff like that. And no fish. So I know you're probably a little bit confused when you heard the 15 pounds, but Emery, he's actually caught a 15 pound bass. I remember I was at school last year at UAB and my mom sent the article to me. I was looking for the text because I normally, normally I don't delete my text messages. So I was like, I probably still have it in my messages, but he caught a 15 pound bass and it was on the news and everything. But we're getting a phone call. All right guys, I'm back. My mom actually sent me like a video or a news article or something like that. He was on like our local news channel for catching that 15 pound fish. And I remember like saying like, that's crazy. 15 pound fish out of a pond. That's what was really cool about it for me. It's like, it was out of a pond. I remember on the news, they were like, the coolest thing about it at the end is he put the fish back in the water. Everybody that had fish, but they were all really cool. And we're definitely gonna go back out again. But what I'm gonna be doing in today's video, I put a crate together for my kayak. I have Rod's Reel Tackle and I just kind of check out the my process of that. And also, I know I said I have it linked down below in the last video. I didn't have it linked yet. I actually put it up today, but in today's video, I actually have a link to the kayak down below in the description. So if you want to go check it out, here goes today's video. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So the plan for today, I feel like I said that every video. So the plan for today, the plan for today is y'all love the last kayak unboxing or the last, my first kayak video, my only kayak video. Y'all loved it. I'll be doing that same thing again today. I wrote some stuff down that I want to add to the kayak. I want to add a milk crate, rod holders, tackle boxes, I already have those two in the garage, but I want two more. A soft cooler and a fish finder. So I've been on Facebook Marketplace trying to find a soft cooler. That might not happen today. And a fish finder probably won't happen today. I kind of want to take it out a few times, catch a few fish on it. Because me personally, I've never used a fish finder. I know somehow how to read one as far as like depth and bottom and what fish look like. But I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I still probably don't know that I probably need to watch a few more YouTube videos before I do that. Plan for today is we're going to try to go to like a local grocery store and get a milk crate. I know in the last video I said I want to get the Yak Attack Black Pack. I was looking at it and it's kind of, it's expensive and I mean we could get it but I feel like it's not practical like a lot of y'all that have kayaks we're not y'all aren't gonna go buy a hundred and hundred and what hundred dollar box or something I don't know well, you can do the same thing with a milk crate or two so I watched a couple videos on YouTube I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like the one milk crate then like half of another one as like a extra storage compartment up top I'm not really sure yet if we can get to that might be an option but for sure we're gonna do the milk crate rod holders and get a couple more tackle boxes and maybe put a little bit of tackle on some of the tackle boxes we're not gonna fill them up today milk crate rod holders and tackle boxes for right now and we're gonna put some rods on it just to see how it looks you know we're gonna 
go in the garage and pretend to fish off of it. Um, it is cold today and I really didn't want to go stand out at the pond. I feel like y'all haven't seen the kayak in a while, in a couple days. I feel like I should show y'all. I haven't changed anything to it. I just feel like I should see it again. I'm so thankful for this kayak, guys. You have no clue. Like when I was younger, it's crazy like how everything's kind of like worked out because when I was younger, I used to like want all this stuff and now I'm kind of able to get it for myself. Be blessed to have some of this stuff given to me and get other things for myself. So yeah, I feel like a big kid. Well, I am a kid. I'm 19, but I feel like a like kid, like a, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, so if you're like 13, 14, wanting all this stuff, fishing rods and reels and lures and kayaks, just, it's coming, I promise, because I was in your shoes 110%. You can ask, like, if you ever see my parents out in public, just ask them, ask them. I promise every time I go into a sporting goods store, like, mom, can I have this? Can I get this fishing lure? I don't think I showed this, but we have the PFD too. We got the Old Town, the Angler Virgin PFD with the pockets and the little, lure holder stuff like that i'm hoping we can go to one of these local grocery stores i have like four or five of them in mind and just they'll give us a crate so we don't have to try to buy one off of amazon or wherever you would buy a crate from mission number one are the crates much later well guys we are back at the house i have been to every store that you could possibly think of walmart walgreens rite aid um aldi Publix, sam's dollar tree dollar general all of that couldn't find a single milk crate a couple of stores had them but I couldn't get them for some reason. They wouldn't give them to me, which I'm pretty sure it's probably like they send them back or reuse them or something like that, which I understand because they're, they're not cheap. I would just like to be able to get one for free if I could, you know? So what I have to show for my time out is just one of these little small tackle boxes, like GoPro batteries and stuff. And hopefully it fits in here. If it doesn't, it's a real big deal. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, that'll work. Much much later well guys we have made it back home it's dark now and i close the garage door because it's cold outside we have four tackle boxes four waterproof tackle boxes we have two crates and i ended up going with one of the yak gear crates it's like 30 dollars, and it came with two rod holders and i think like a little side storage bag probably take this one from home depot back and just keep this one so these two tackle boxes that i bought they don't they don't fit either way and i mean they fit like that but i'd much rather them fit horizontally than vertically so seven hours later yo what's going on guys welcome back to the house i started this video earlier today and i hated the way it was going so i said i would just finish it tonight finish it later and now it's later and we're gonna go ahead and finish up the crate for the kayak started a little bit earlier and i would like mess it up somehow i'm not really sure how i could possibly do that but leave it to me i didn't really mess it up i like drilled a couple holes that i really didn't need to drill i said i I just like start over on that I, I don't know where my mom was at when i was doing that I'm, I'm gonna go out to the garage bring the stuff in here because it's cold in the garage and i'd rather be in the nice warm house All right, guys, so on the last video, I saw the little hate comments about my socks. Listen, I went through a little phase in middle school where I had just about every color of Nike Elite socks. So now I don't have to buy socks. I have all my socks still from middle school. But that's enough about my socks. We are going to go ahead and finish um, tying this down. This is like a little, um, what is this? This is our... This is like our little bag. I'm not really sure what we'll keep in here. I don't really want to keep these scissors in here. I feel like the scissors will cut it up. So, but I mean, you can never have enough or too much storage. I'm sure I'll be able to find something to keep in here. As we just got the cart or the bag. I don't know what to call this. I guess we'll, I don't want to say tote. I feel like that's like a, I don't know. I, we're going to call it a tote because I think that's a funny word. We got the tote installed on the side of the crate. It's crazy how like, I don't know. This is just like a regular milk carton and you, or regular milk crate and you can just do so much to it. So now since we got the crate, uh, since we got the crate installed, now we're going to do the rod holder. So my thinking for this was say the seat is up front. I want this on the right side of me and these on the left side just so if I have two rods in here. Normally I cast like two of my right side, I'm right handed. So thinking that, or hoping that, or not having a rod or anything on this way to like block my cast because I know I fished off of some kayaks before that had only like a rod holder on the right side and sometimes they'll get in your way. So. All right, guys, so we have the finished product here, somewhat finished. We haven't added our tackle boxes yet, but we have the two rod tubes right here and right there. 
two rot tubes and we also have our little storage compartment on this side i'm honestly have zero clue of what this will be used for and i already kind of nicked it until then we're going to go back out into the garage get our tackle boxes fill those up with some lures and then we should be good to go i kind of want to put some rods in here just to, just to get a picture oh yeah i'm feeling it or last time in the video i said i was going to take all these out but i actually talked to a dub fishing adam and he was telling me about how when you reach back behind you it's easier to grab them out like if they're sticking up a little bit from the crate so i won't be able to do like the second um like area of storage on the crate but i think that'll be okay i'll just i'm probably just going to keep these boxes all right so guys the first box that i'm going to do this is going to be all of my like hard baits so stuff like crankbait or crankbaits jerk baits lipless stuff all that stuff i want to keep in this box box number one filled with like, i have like a couple of big crankbaits since um there are chances that i might be like on a lake or something like that on my kayak having stuff like that i think could be very key so we're gonna go ahead and add this stuff to our tackle box All right guys, so we got box number one done. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the boxes and I'll kind of give y'all a little rundown over why I put what I did in each box when I get done. Guys, I felt like that took a lot longer than it probably should have, but we have finally finished. We have everything in the crate and now all there is to do is to take it outside. And I also opened these pliers and I put the little lanyard on it, but um, I'm thinking I'll probably attach these to my seat just because I don't want to lose them and I feel like that's probably one of the best one of like the better places to keep it just so they're more accessible. I like to turn around and grab them because I plan on catching a lot of fish out of the kayak and I'm probably going to need some pliers. I'm going to run through these boxes real quick. I have my terminal tackle box. Y'all have seen this one before. Hooks and weights, underspan, stuff like that. Next I have I just threw this box in here. I might keep it in there. I'm not really sure. I really don't fish buzz baits and spinner baits too much. And I think that'll be some good content opportunities. I'm probably going to keep this in the box and hopefully like if we go to the lake or pond early morning, the buzz baits can get some use. Then this box right here, I just threw some chatter baits in and also some jigs. And this box right here up top, I put some jerk baits, have frit sides in that middle row right there. And then some like medium diving crank baits in the third row and then the bottom row we have some deeper stuff and last but not least we have top water up top we have frogs in the second row we have some like little poppers third row we have some little walking baits or second row we have some little walking baits next we have some more walking baits chopos more walking baits cane walkers those are like some bigger top water lures the only reason why I have those jitterbugs is because I did a challenge using them, but I feel like jitterbugs are just one of those lures that's kind of like stood the test of time in fishing. So I added it to my box. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be out on the water one morning and be like, I kind of feel like throwing the jitterbug. And also a couple of these lures I took down off of my little wall right here. Yeah. So hopefully I want to take my kayak. I want to take the kayak out here pretty soon and throw this Alabama rig. I made these swim baits for it. Um, the ones that came with it fell off. Well guys, we got our kayak pretty much rigged up for the most part. The only thing that I am missing really now is a cooler. So I can find a cooler sometime soon, but I'll give y'all a little walkthrough. So first we have our GoPro mount right here. Hopefully, I should probably test it out before I go out on the water for the first time. But hopefully we'll be able to see over the PDL drive um, and be able to see like a good view. These pliers, I just kind of strapped them to the seat right here. just. So I won't lose them, I won't drop them down into the water. I just had to make this as realistic as possible. So I went and got five rods and put five rods in the kayak because I mean, I feel like, why not? You know, you just, just had to. So now I have the crate and the only thing that I added onto the crate were the scissors. And I just got a lanyard I had in my room and just connected the scissors to the crate just so they don't end up in the water. Yeah, that's pretty much the kayak now. Um, well guys, I didn't end the video, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I will see y'all in the next video. Fish and have a good day. See y'all later.